Now we have found solutions for the inside of the building and, now, and we are changing to the outside because the wind tight layer is also an important layer concerning the function of the insulation layer. That's what I would like to focus on with my next presentation. As I said, we are producing a lot of materials for the inside of the construction as well as for the outside. And this model house shows where we can deliver products for roofs, windows and for roof pitches that are very low, down to 5 degrees. The product that I would like to focus on during my presentation is the Solitex Plus because the Solitex Plus has got also the BBA approval. At first, I would like to introduce a material that is not well known in the UK because we invented uh, two years ago a membrane that could be welded. So a homogeneous material welded with heat or with a solvent and this allows the membrane to be used down to 5 degrees roof pitch. Sometimes it's very important to have membranes that could be used down to this roof pitch um, because the Soltex Plus membrane is only suitable for roof pitches down to 12 degrees. This is defined by the BBA approval and the BBA said if you've got a diffusion open material based on polypropylene spun bones then you should not install it below 12 degrees. So the Solitex Verdano you can, can be installed as a rainproof construction with a nail gasket between the counter buttoning and the membrane itself. Nail gasket like Tescon Nidec from beginning from 10 degrees roof pitch and if you are planning to get lower then you have to um, have to seal the counter battening as well with a strip of the Verdano that's shown on the right side of uh, this slide and then you can go down to 5 degrees roof pitch. When we were having our seminars in Swindon uh, a guy asked me if the Verdano is bat safe because some people are experiencing problems with bats um, when they are they got stuck in the spun bones and uh, this is obviously a problem in the UK and the Verdano has got a very um, smooth surface so it's not possible for the bats to get stuck so I would say he would, we, we, we sent him a, a sample of the material and I guess the, he will come back to us with uh, the information that he is um, uh, gathering with um, 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 trying the sample um, and I'm pretty sure that due to the smooth surface the Verdano is bad safe as well. So this could be a solution for this problem in the UK. But let's focus on the Solitex Plus. As I said it has got the BBA approval. So the BBA visits us twice a year to check our production that everything is, every test is performed, every technical data we achieve during our production quality control meets the requirements of the BBA approval. They do also make sure that we are not changing the, 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 the formulation of the membrane because um, uh, they want to make sure that uh, we are not changing the formulation um, and changing the te technical abilities. And this is very important to, to offer a constant high quality material and uh, we are spending a lot of effort in it. What a uh, diffusion open membrane has to fulfill is they have to be rainproof, uh, breathable. Breathability is very important to um, make sure that the construction stays dry. The membrane shouldn't have problems with chemicals being used on the roofs with oils or wood preservatives um, because sometimes the wood preservatives they lead to leaky roof underlays. We've got the fall through protection for to make sure that the craftsman will not fall through the membrane so the Solitex Plus is very strong. The windproofness of course because we should serve as a wind tightness layer and what I would like to focus on is the aging and the UV stability. So UV stability means the UV stability during the building time when no tiles are being laid on the uh, construction and the aging resistance means that after the tiles are being installed the membrane is hidden like the air tightness membrane as well and you don't know what happens to membrane but it has to, but it has to fulfill uh, um, a requirement uh, if a tile gets broken then it should serve as a second protection layer 
um, and should not allow the water from getting into the insulation layer. And we are performing a lot of tests. We are comparing our materials a lot with uh, materials from the competition com competitors. And I would like to show you some of the results that we um, uh, gathered through our examinations. Before I do that, I want to explain how a usual membrane, like the Soltex Plus, but a lot of other companies have got uh, a membrane like this as well, Usually two spun bones, one upper spun bone and the spun bone on the back side are covering a functional membrane, which could be very different, what I will describe um, within the next minutes. And the Soltex Plus has also a reinforcement grid to increase the tensile strength that could be applied on the membrane. When we are talking about diffusion open breathable membranes, then we have to compare two technologies. So there's the conventional technology, that means conventional roof linen membranes. The function layer is produced of a material that is very diffusion by itself, it's polypropylene. During the production process, they are causing little pores in the polypropylene function film. And these pores, they are allowing the transport of the moisture as a damp. So and you can imagine if the pores are being closed due to dirt or due to water drops, the transport of the damp is not possible anymore because they are covered and then the damp could not enter the, the could not pass the membrane because once the pores are closed, um, the membrane is not diffusion open anymore. The Solitex technology is completely different because we are using a special plastic that is diffusion open by itself. So we've got no pores. In the Solitex function film, we've got very high rain resistance. It's very watertight against driving rain. And it's very diff open to diffusion at the same time, though we are having a closed cell membrane between two spun bones. This offers the advantage that even if the membrane is covered with water, it still allows water, from, it still allows water passing the membrane and drying out the constructions. And we have seen this effect in a building site where both where both membranes were installed in one roof. A customer called Roman, and he uh, was going to the building site, and the customer said that the Solitex membrane is getting wet at the back of the, the membrane. And then he, they entered the attic, and then he saw that there have been installed two different membranes. One shown at the left side, a conventional membrane with a microporous function film that was covered with water. So small water drops were hanging on the membrane. You can see it where the red arrow starts. And the other one on the right side with the green arrow has been the Solitex membrane, which has, which has been completely dry. So obviously, the monolithic function film is supporting the dry out capacity of the membrane in comparison with a membrane that is based on PP and has got pores in the function layer. So once the function layer is covered with water, if you've got a microporous membrane, then the ability of diffusion, the diffusion ability of the membrane is reduced, while the Soltex membrane with the, solid, with the monolithic membrane can still transport the water out of the construction from the backside of the membrane to the uh, outside of the building um, and stays dry and supports the construction to be safe. The problem with the microporous membrane could occur if you combine a wood fiber insulation with a microporous membrane on top. We found a building site where molds occurred between the wood fiber board and the microporous roof underlay. You can see it on the left. You can see all these black spots everywhere. And uh, this problem is caused uh, due to very low temperature differences between the inside of the membrane and the outside. This could start the condensation of the water that could get between the wood fiber board and uh, the roof underlay. And then you get a, a, a water layer that is increasing the diffusion resistance of uh, the roof underlay. And once the water layer is uh, turned into ice due to cold temperatures outside, then um, um, moisture is not able to pass the membrane anymore because ice is watertight. This hadn't been a problem in old constructions because if you have, have a look at the right drawing, then you can see that in old constructions we've been already installing small 
small amounts of insulation and therefore the, the temperature difference between the inside and the outside of the roof underlay has been much bigger so the damp was not in danger of uh, condensate below at the, at the back side of the roof underlay so it was still able to pass the microporous membrane as damp so there was no condensation risk and therefore no risk for uh, starting starting mold growth between the wood fiber board and the roof underlay. What we are doing a lot, every year we are installing a couple of different membranes from different manufacturers on a test stand that we are having in our company and we try to compare the membranes concerning the UV stability, the UV stability, the influence of temperature and rain during the building time. We are keeping the membranes here and then we take, you can see it, sometimes the, we have take, already taken samples from them and we are testing them concerning the water tightness frequently. Every week, every two weeks, we are taking a piece of it and then we, uh, we perform a pressure test. Um, and we found out that microporous membrane could get, could get very leaky even after a couple of weeks. So this is a magnification on the left side of a microporous membrane. You can see that the, the surface of the membrane is already affected. And this membrane has been leaky after a couple of weeks, though the um, uh, manufacturer of the membrane stated it to be uh, UV resistance for at least four months. So this is not leading to a good, safe construction. And we also performed, in comparison, um, the test with the Solitex Plus membrane. And even after 22 weeks of UV, of weathering, the membrane is still watertight and in a good shape. And so we don't have to expect problems with the Solitex membrane during the building time. And what's the difference? There are a lot of membranes available in the market that are cheap. It's always a question of the price. So you can buy a roof underlay for 70 or 80 cents, euro cents, or uh, <coughs> which is, and you have to always to make, you have always to keep in mind that if somebody is selling materials for a cheap price, then he has to save money. So he's not able to invest money in high quality UV stabilizers or high quality uh, thermal stabilizers because these, uh, these um, additives, sometimes they cost 50 euros a kilogram and if I could save the money, if I save the money because I want to sell my membrane for a low price, then I don't have the UV stability that a Solitex Plus membrane could offer during the building time. Another test stand that we are having is uh, a construction that is designed as a usual standard construction with insulation raft between rafters at the inside uh, vapor check and at the outside below the tiles we are we have tested a lot of different membranes how they react under the warm conditions below the tiles because we found out that below the tiles temperatures above 60 or 70 degrees could occur. It's, it's getting very warm if the roof is south orientated and the tiles are black. You will have very high temperatures there. And uh, we are doing this now for seven years. So we opened, we opened uh, the construction uh, after two years, after five years, and now after seven years, and we put some, we have, we've taken some samples for it, from it, and uh, we found out that uh, a couple of microporous membranes are getting leaky after seven years. So here we have got a pressure test in our laboratory, and we just put the water on top of the membrane without applying any additional pressure and uh, the membrane was leaky so it does not ser did not serve as a second a protection layer so one if if one of the tiles gets damaged and the water could get into the construction the insulation is getting wet with this membrane this is a thing that was uh, examined by um, uh, an independent universal institute as well and they found out they experienced that this problem occurs when you are investing less money in, in the membrane and they said that if the membrane costs about two or three euros per square meter then you can expect to have a very stable material because the manufacturer could add these additives that could uh, increase the UV stability and the thermal stability and if you invest only a small amount of money 
then you get a weak quality in comparison. And that's what we find out as well. The low price membranes, they are not offering uh, a security for a long period of time. Um, they are having problems after a couple of years and uh, I think from my point of view a roof underlay should serve as a second protection layer for more than seven years. With the Solitex membranes we don't have these problems. Even after seven years we, have, we are achieving water columns of more than two and a half meters which is okay for uh, concerning the water tightness and we will go on with our examinations and probably in three years I can report new information regarding uh, the aging process of roof underlays. What else do we do? For the Swiss market we have tested the membranes concerning the resistance against hailstones. There is an institute in Switzerland that is able to shoot hailstones onto the membranes with a diameter of 50 millimeters. And if you have a look at the, uh, at the right picture, you can see in, in the light of the torch that these hailstones cause small valleys. So it's a very strong impact onto the membrane um, um, and even after the impact they are shooting these 50 millimeters hailstones onto the membrane, the membrane is still watertight, which is very important because I guess that in the UK it could, you could have hail falling from the, from the sky as well. If it's a 50 millimeters hailstone, it's not a discussion. <laughs> these occasions are very rare, though I have seen cars in, in Germany which have got these small valleys everywhere. I don't know if you're experience this, experiencing this in the UK as well, but um, even if this is a seldom occasion, uh, a roof underlay should be prepared for this problem as well. And additionally, it shows that the material is very stable, that the craftsman could walk on it, even uh, could walk on it without damaging the membrane. And after the installation, the membrane should be still watertight to make sure that the construction stays dry. As a summary, the Sortex Plus, due to the BBA approval, is tested independently by the BBA frequently. The monolithic membrane offers very high dry out capacities in comparison with microporose membrane that are the standards when you have a look at the market. We've got a very high aging resistance and thermal stability. Of course, every, every membrane has to be tested with an accelerated aging test uh, in the laboratory to get the CE marking, but obviously this test is not sufficient to make sure that the membranes are uh, still watertight after seven years because we found out that a lot of membranes are leaky when they are stored behind when then when they are installed behind the behind tiles after seven years and that's why they are um, there will be a new European standard and this standard will in introduce a new way of testing the uh, the membranes concerning the accelerated aging um, because they found out that this is not suitable to to serve as an accelerating test for roof underlays. So the Solitex Plus is extremely robust due to the reinforcement grid so there's no problem when the craftsmen are stepping into it or if you want to uh, combine it with blown in cellulose and due to the high water tightness the Solitex Plus offers high protection against rain, against the weathering during the building phase. Yeah, thank you.